John chapter number one, verses number 12 and 13. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. As we focus in on the B clause or the final clause of verse number 12, we see some incredible tidbits or nuggets here. The verse starts out, but as many as receive them, to them, this is what we're going to focus on, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name. Notice, what did he give them? Power, the ability to achieve purpose. Jesus, Yeshua, is laying some fundamental groundwork that he's going to be building on throughout this entire book of John. At the latter part of the ministry, he told them to go to Jerusalem and stay there until ye be endowed with power from on high. He told them in another place, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come unto you and then you shall be my witnesses. The scripture is saying over and over and Jesus is laying the foundation that the Spirit of God is the actual power. We, we, we know the spirit of God that, that in Genesis 1, after God created the heavens and earth, the spirit of God hovered above the water and did all the creation. Now we can see the same spirit of God is coming and making a new creation because we know that God created the heavens and the earth and everything and the first six days and rested on the seventh day and that ended his creation but we find that did not stop his creation at all because 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 verse number 17 tells us if any man be in Christ he is a new creation he is a new creature old things are passed away and behold all things are become as new you see what God did in the book of Genesis or Bereshit was just the starting of the physical creation. Now that the physical creation has been formed, he was moving or is moving to another creation. One writer tells us how we will have a body like his body. The Apostle Paul, how when we're born of God, we're going to take on a new body. God is steady creating. God is steady revealing his master plan to birth as many of humans that believe into his divine family. And this divine family is not hinged upon your nationality. It's not hinged upon your skin color. It's not hinged upon what class you may have been born in or may not have been born in. But it is hinged upon your fate. Verse number 13 in the complete Jewish Bible version. Not because of bloodline, 
physical impulse or human intentions, but because of God. This new creation, this, this, this is a really wonderful thing that Jesus is introducing us into. He's saying he has better things for us. God has much more wonderful things. And the only way to achieve them is through his spirit by faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Spirit, move throughout the land. Do your will. In the name of Jesus, thank God. Amen.